There are a ton of adjustments that can be made to images in Photoshop. The Adjustment Layers Flyout menu uh, alone has 19 different options. When applied in combination with each other, layer masks, layer blending modes, and fill opacity, there is a virtual limitless number of combinations that can be applied. The 19 adjustment layers available include solid color, gradient, pattern, brightness and contrast, levels, curves, exposure, vibrance, hue and saturation, color balance, black and white, photo filter, channel mixer, color lookup, invert, posterize, threshold, gradient map, and select a color. I'm not planning to demo every single one of these in this lecture, but once you can apply one type of adjustment layer, you should be able to apply all of them fairly easily. So feel free to experiment with them after you finish this lecture. Here's another example of a solid fill adjustment layer. When used in combination with a layer blending mode and lowered opacity, we can create a stylized effect. In this case, the image was very yellow and green, and I wanted to make it look older and bluer. Here's the same image with a gradient adjustment layer. Don't get the gradient and gradient map adjustment layers confused. The gradient option works exactly like a solid fill adjustment layer. The only difference is that the colors change across a layer. In this example, the gradient fades from white to brown to white and back to brown again. If you look at the image closely, you'll be able to see the gradient as it travels down across the page and across the image's subject. 